Hey, how you going? I'm Red. Today we're going to be listening to some r slash I do work here lady. Red by Red. Hope you enjoy. Why aren't you ready to learn? So as soon as I finished high school, I got a job as a teaching assistant for special education needs children in, di- in different high school. It was really fun, albeit difficult and demanding job. And this is one of many similar stories. For context, I was 20 at the time, five foot tall, and I naturally look a lot younger than I am. If I had a dollar for every time someone said I'll be happy when I'm 30, I'd have the money to buy higher heels. To make the age gap less of an issue, I exclusively worked with kids aged 11 to 14, though half in the class was still taller than me. I would sit next to kids in class who needed help or who were generally disruptive or float around the room and try and help the teacher's class go smoothly. But I was definitely the youngest teaching assistant there, with most of the others being 40 plus. I was in the UK at the time, so my role in the room was usually not confusing since every student wears a school uniform, and I obviously do not. However, on this one day of twisted fate, I walked into a year eight maths class on what is called Mufti Day, which is essentially a non-uniform day. I'm trying to get the kids settled, who have known me for almost a year now, including several ADHD children, two Down syndrome children, and a large gaggle of rowdy boys, the kind that think anything is funny as long as it isn't polite, correct, or anything the teacher says. These boys were my favourites. It was the hardest class any teaching assistant had to handle and I was waiting on both the teacher and a second teaching assistant. Then the teacher does walk in, but he's a substitute teacher. Doesn't normally teach here and is just filling in, which isn't unusual. First he hands two kids some worksheets to hand out and gives me the third batch. Again, not abnormal since I hand out a lot of things for the teachers. We eventually sit down and I decide for the time being to sit between two of the naughty boys right at the front to keep them under control, since the mere presence of a substitute teacher is enough to send their deviant brains into an overdrive of what can we get away with? Spoiler, usually they can get away with anything. Mr. S begins the lesson talking about something or other when he stops right in front of my desk. He frowns at my empty table. Mr. S. Do you not have a worksheet? Me. Oh no sir, I don't need one. Mr. S. Where is your pencil case? Why don't you need one? And why aren't you ready to learn? He said this very sternly and the entire class was quiet. Subteachers are known for being nastily strict at the start of the lesson to let the kids know you can't mess around with them. When you totally can. Me. Holding my lanyard up. I'm a teaching assistant. Boy next to me. Sir, she's not a student. The poor man turns as white as a sheet and the boys and the rest of the class start howling with laughter. He apologizes about six times and it takes a good few minutes to quiet everyone back down. Throughout the rest of the class, the kids keep bringing it up and every time I passed Mr. S, he apologized again. Although the incident did make me think I should ever want a day off, all I had to do was turn up in school uniform and blend right in. Lady, I'm the teacher. Please stop yelling at my student. While I was 21 and studying for my languages and teaching degree, one of my teachers had a language school and offered me a job to teach English and French since I'm fluent in both. I would teach four times a week and worked with four group ages, children, teens, young adults and adults. On Wednesdays, I started my afternoon with children and ended it with adults. Most adults were 40 plus professionals who went to class after work and some of them wore very formal clothes because of that. One of the kids from the children's intermediate class loved learning English and was a fast learner, so we recommended her to attend an extra children's conversational club class on Monday, higher level, 
while still attending her normal lessons on Wednesdays. She was very excited about it and her dad, divorced parents, was fine with it. I don't know what the kid's mom understood, but she thought we were somehow setting her back and the woman decided she couldn't wait and needed to argue with us that same day. Adults lessons started at 7 p.m. and it was around 6.55. So some of the adults were chilling and talking about their week before class when the lady arrived. She looked around the classroom and directly went to Paul, a very shy suit wearing bank manager. Crazy mum. How dare you pull my kid out of her class and put her in a level for beginners? Paul, huh? Me, miss please, crazy mum. Be quiet, I'm talking with the teacher. Some of the other students were laughing. Crazy mum, stop laughing you losers. My kid is nine and knows more English than all of you. Me, this is enough. Please get out of the classroom. Crazy mum, don't tell me what to do. Me, I'm not telling you this again. Please leave the classroom and stop yelling at my students. Crazy mum, pointing at Paul crazily. Me, look miss, we can talk in my office, but you need to leave this room now. One of the students who owned a restaurant made a joke about dealing with annoying people like her on a daily. And the crazy mum got even angrier but I managed to get her out of the room. I explained again that I was the teacher, but she refused to talk to me because you are so young and yelled a popular yet ridiculous saying about young people. That really pissed me off and I wasn't very kind when I told her, look miss, I'm their teacher and I'm your kid's teacher. So if you please stop acting like a child and tell me what your problem is, I might help you. Somehow that snapped her out of her tantrum and she left slowly and loudly stomping downstairs. It literally took her like five minutes to get down 16 steps. I went back to the classroom, apologized to the students, and we had a pretty nice conversation about how culturally here it is quite common for middle-aged old people to look down on younger professionals. Some of them even accepted that in the past they acted like the lady in the situation but would never do it again and others say it would give extra support to their younger colleagues i hope you enjoyed that r slash i do work here lady read by red if you did please like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot have a great day